This I have a new enemy! <laughs> that was quite good. It was like that was that was like on the same note. Yeah, we did it. The I same have thing. a new enemy. I have a new enemy. <laughs> My new enemy is being really busy, which I think might have been an old enemy, which means I don't get to see my friends as much as I like, sad times. But here I am, Carrot Fletcher, in yeah. her new home. We've decided today to talk about being housemates. We're not housemates. That's not what we were talking about. That's, what, <laughs> that's not what we're talking about. I don't know what we're talking about. No, we're talking no. about anything. Would we make good housemates? That is the question of the day. I mean, I think the resounding answer is yes, we would. Yes, basically, Kind of doing the end because that was kind of going to be like the end. We Sorry, <laughs> but, but like it's, you know, it's like it's like a story where you know the ending and then we progress to the end yeah. from the beginning. We okay. get to the ending in an unexpected way. Let's start by me eating this biscuit. It's not biscuit. It's not it's a biscuit. Okay. Let's talk about the the bad ones to begin with. Okay. I start on an epic point. I have one that is both a pro and a con okay. of being housemates, and it's to, to do the amount of singing that would be done. I do think when I've thought about this, it is, uh, yeah, that was going to be one of mine. It's, it's good and bad, it's the obvious one being good in that singing is fun. Yeah, and we're both like not singing. bad at it. Yeah. Um, the bad thing being that I can imagine that we'd have pretty sore voices all the time, because he felt. But <laughs> I, have, I have thought this, that we could actually not have to do this whole video by just doing this test, allowing fate to decide. I want you to hit a note, I'm going to hit a note, and if we harmonise by accident, it's meant to be. Random chord game. I'm going to go, the what? The random chord game. It has a name already. Oh, I played this in the theatre. I on. literally just walk into a room and go, one, two, three, ah! and everyone sings a note at the same time. Let's find out if we can harmonise by accident. We're not allowed to cheat, just going to hit the note. We're ready? You kind of say. <laughs> I can't, I'm giggling. You can, you okay. can do this. One, two, three. Ha! <laughs> I think that was a, was that a harmony? Best of three. I'm kind of going to say this time. One, two, three. Ha! That was definitely in harmony. Do you also do that thing where you get one lyric, one word wrong in the lyric? Yeah. So and yes. hope that I correct you. Yes, this is a game that I delight in playing. I think I've spoken about this before, where you just change, I have spoken about this before, where you just change one word, just be really annoying. So you might go, I said fire to Lorraine. <laughs> and see if anyone notices this. Don't say That's that. A... I panic so much singing Little Fall of Rain. Why? Because I keep hearing Lorraine in my head. <laughs> if the name was Lorraine, it makes sense. And okay. that's why I panic, because it makes sense in my head to sing that, because it's a normal sentence. <laughs> it's, <laughs> oh my God. It's the rain can't hurt me now. <laughs> <laughs> and in my head every night, don't sing Lorraine, don't sing Lorraine, don't sing Lorraine, you can't hurt me now. Lorraine can't, I didn't do it. Lorraine can't hurt me now. <laughs> do you know anyone we'll called Lorraine? And if so, are they likely to hurt you? No. This is a good one now. Our combined bookshelf would be pretty awesome. But that's also a bad point, because where would we put them all? Now, see, this is interesting because we probably have a few duplicates. Now, we you get rid of your copies. Those. No, this is an issue. So where would we put them all? This brings me to another bad point. There is some good ones. The bad point is about the mugs. You own a lot of mugs. I own a lot of mugs. Just accumulated them over I'm the years. I'm less attached to my mugs than I am my books, though. So right. I could compromise. Yes. For every mug I get rid of, you get rid of the book. <laughs> no deal. <laughs> tea. Lot of tea. A lot of tea. Lot of tea. And is that a good thing, though? No, that's a good one. I think because. We'd we'd make less tea because every time I would want a cup of tea, I would make you one as well at the same time. I didn't think of that. I yeah. have more. I don't know where my phone is now. So he came prepared. Yeah. Oh, I'm a really organised person. I want. He to sent me a schedule last night. Scheduling. Of what videos we were going to make? What was going to be in those videos? What I would need for those videos? This is, it's all I just said okay, I will provide the flat that we film them in. Left and right wobbly legs fun <laughs> thing. That's genuinely the note on my phone. I can't quite remember why I've written this, but the first thing that's come on my phone when I've gone to notes is left then right wobbly legs fun fun. And another another bad one now. Um, lack of sleep. We love a chat. We do. We I love a chat. Think of that one. I mean the good thing about the fact that we talk a lot is that we talk about really stupid stuff that makes each other laugh. Like that time when we were in Nottingham 
and we were in my, this is for on my War of the Worlds tour, we were in my room laughing our heads off oh, at yeah. budgetbeasts.com. Which we've talked about before, but I will put that down in the description again because that is such a good website. I think it's, it's lowbudgetbeasts.tumblr.com. Low budget that's it. I proceed. It's a website made up of pictures of the beasts from low budget <laughs> productions and Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> and some of them are spectacular. We've not looked at that website in a very long time and I bet there are new ones. Oh! Hashtag okay. just say. We were laughing so hard, you fell off your chair. <laughs> yeah, I did. And who was it who walked past? Uh, it was Brian, Brian and, Joe. and Joe. They walked past our room, thought we were canoodling. <laughs> Great use of canoe. Right? And then we just opened the door, fully clothed, still laughing. There's also a low budget audio 2 website which should also be checked out, which is also exceptional. So pretty much the only bad thing we could think of is that we would really sleep. Yeah. Which is fairly major. Like, <laughs> you do have a home to sleep in. But that's and pretty do, much... Do you think though that it would be like a novelty thing? Like the first week that we spend as housemates, we'd stay up really late talking, but then we'd just run out of things to say and we'd be like, right, we really need to just sleep. No. <laughs> we were on tour for like a month and yeah. that was the majority of yeah. our evenings spent looking at Audrey too. Or, or looking at your toilet. <laughs> We should probably explain what we're talking about. I know we've talked about this in previous videos, but for those it was, who haven't it was seen in one it, of my videos, but I don't think I gave it enough attention that no. it needed. <laughs> you called me being like, I need you to come to my room. I don't think you told me what it I was. I didn't tell you what it was. And I, I just ran She was clearly say. panicked, right? I need you to come to my room. And I was like, okay. Room now. And uh, I got there, and this is what she told me. Well, I just told him to go into the bathroom and look into the toilet. And I had to reassure him that it was not me. Because <laughs> <laughs> it, it was like a three-year-old going like, look at what I've done. I've done this great poo in the toilet. <laughs> a poo had arrived in the <laughs> toilet, which the security staff put down to like, maybe flushing from one toilet into another, yeah. which would be fine if it wasn't for the phantom tea cake. There was also just a tea cake, but the best thing was, I was laughing too hard, so Johnny had to call up the reception desk and say something's been left in the room, an unwanted present has been left in the room. Is, it, is there any explanation service? I did, then didn't hear what the, the person at Concierge oh, said, I but I just heard him say, heard him laugh and then go, no, I don't think it was part of the turn down service. <laughs> I think we both have decided we'd probably make pretty good housemates. I think we would. I think that, well, except for the sleep thing, but that would be, we I think that is a small issue that we go around yeah. very happy and very tired. This is an Ivy Books and Nightclubs video, so we yep. need a book recommendation. I read recently a book called Between the Lines by Jodie Pickholt and ah. her daughter. Cool. Whose name I can't remember. Samantha Van Leer. It's the concept that I love the most because I've never, I, it seems such an obvious concept. It is about um, a girl who's reading a book and one of the illustrations starts talking to her and starts cool. like, but he, he doesn't want to be in the book anymore. He wants to get out. So she's got to try and help That's him cool. get, get out the book. And it's such like an obvious concept, but I don't think I've ever seen it done before. That's almost everything for this week. Thank you as always for tuning in. This week in the syllabub, please let me know what good and bad things do you think would happen if Carrie and I, is Carrie and me or Carrie and I? I think it's Carrie and I. Carrie and I. What are the good and bad things would come of Carrie and I living together? And uh, yeah, of course, keep your silly questions and book recommendations coming in. We have a silly question for you, of course. Uh, this week's silly question comes from Emily Lloyd, and she asks, if you had the power to either destroy every book or every kind of tea from the world, which would you choose and why? Now, the way it's phrased is almost like you would have a power to choose to do that, which obviously you wouldn't do. So what I'm assuming here is it's a bit like Midas, is in like every time you touch the book, it just crumbles into dust, or every time you hold a mug or anything to hold like tea in, it crumbles. Which would you go for and why? Tea. I would destroy tea. So I mean, I'd just switch to coffee. Does this question say tea? It does. You got off of that. Or hot chocolate. Next week, who knows? More nonsense. I was doing something weird. <laughs> would you rather A, see a ghost, or B, 
Have a piece of toast. Is it B, I'd rather have a piece of toast? That is the correct answer. You would want a million dollars.